Hey everybody, I'm Josh. And I'm Rachel. Come along with us over the next seven nights as we board the inaugural sailing of the world's largest cruise ship. Royal Caribbean's Icon of the Seas out of Miami. We're going to eat at over 20 different restaurants. Have a drink at 30. That's right, 30 different bars. Check out the best water park on a cruise ship. And take in some amazing world-class entertainment. Along the way, we'll go deep sea fishing in St. Kitts. We're gonna check out everything we can in St. Thomas, including snorkeling with sea turtles and taking in world-class views. And spend the day at the brand new Hideaway Beach Club at Royal Caribbean's private island, perfect day at Coco Cay. Let's go. Alright, we just got to the terminal and it actually looks very well organized. There's not a huge line. Rachel's ready. And we are definitely matchy-matchy today. Look at this! Alright, we are about to go. They got some new color. It is new colors, I like that. Yes. It was such an easy process again. Yeah, checking very in. easy. Um, when we did Symphony of the Seas, there was a huge <laughs> oh, line. Oh, there we go. Good morning. I think that was probably just because it was COVID. Yeah. But early check-in time is always fun for us. Yes. <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, we babe. checked in. Uh, we got here right at 11.30, which was our time. <laughs> Flowed through it. As you can tell, oh Rachel is jacked up, I and so am I. Up. I am so excited. All right, we are about to step on Icon about of the that Seas. First jump onto the ship. Been waiting for this one for over a year. Yeah, we booked this day one, morning one. Morning one. Here we go. Here we go. go. <gasps> ah, we're on <laughs> Yay! Good morning. Hello. Oh cow. my god. Right into the pearl. Whoa! Good morning! Hello. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Like Lamo, I don't know why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Oh, and we are suckers for these Starbucks cups, so. I'm getting one right now. Like, yeah. might as well just book it. Not right now. <laughs> but still. We don't want to carry that thing. Oh my god. But check this out. Oh my god. <laughs> There's the pearl. Three stories. Oh my god. So pretty. This is beautiful. Thank you. How soon should I buy you one of these ready icons? For a party? Told you I'm excited. All right, so Rachel did stop and buy a <laughs> coffee mug. Already. I did. Hey, champagne right here. We'll take champagne. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. This is All right. bananas. We gotta check this out. This is the pearl. Holy cows! Check that out. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's, it's so much prettier than I thought. Yeah, it and it's so much bigger too. Yeah. Yes. All right, we're, we're gonna get our dinner reservations. We're gonna meet up with you after that, but this place looks awesome. All right, so we got the business stuff out of the way. Uh, <laughs> we have all of our dinner reservations and some of our lunch reservations. We are starting off at Giovanni's though. You can see, uh, we do have the... Uh, ultimate dining package. Ultimate dining and unlimited beverage. Yes. I think that's how it goes. But we're going to be eating at almost all of the ups, up level we, restaurants. Well, all but one or two that we're aware of because I'm pretty positive we're not doing the no, Empire Celebration Supper, Table or Empire yeah, Supper Club. Empire Supper Club and yeah. Celebration Table is extra. But um, we're going to start off with some Italian food. And this is right off of the promenade. Um, one really nice thing is they have like windows on the side. so It, it feels so open. It does. It feels crazy open. So yeah. we're going to grab some drinks, grab some food. We're going to show you. This is going to be awesome. This is going to be so cool. <laughs> All right. So big meal at Giovanni's coming. Oh, big meal. You know, you could go to the uh, buffet and fight it out, but we paid for this extra meal plan. So let's do it. Look at that cheese inside that meatball yeah, too. Yeah, look at that. Mm, that looks so that's good. the meatball. I'm going to put it on my plate right now. Yeah. And here's some awesome. garlic knots. We didn't even order those, they just brought them out. Nope. And they're getting ready for pizza. I'm ready. Me too. All right, drinks are on the way. Uh, but we also got the stromboli. And the great thing about this, I had forgotten, we really enjoyed this, but we, um, we wanted sauce before. With the marinara sauce, that's so right. getting the meatball will help with that. Uh, there's a whole bowl of olives here. 
Josh yeah. may or may not eat them. There you go. <laughs> of all the stuff, you can have those. All right, so uh, you can see what we did initially was we went straight to uh, the check-in station here, and we did the made all of our reservations because with the unlimited dining package, you can't make your reservations prior to getting on the ship. So once you get on the ship, we've made all of them. So we've got our chops dinner, our hibachi, our sushi, everything is set. Um, and that's where we decided to eat here. That's right. And the best part too is there is supposed to be an upgrade to the app coming soon. Yeah, that somewhere you can in 2024. That, but we have, it was not available for this sailing. So yeah. we'll see that. But I'll tell you what, this ship, it does not feel enclosed at all. It feels so Agreed. open. I mean, and we've only made it to two levels. Right. <laughs> like, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to um, search everything after this, but yeah. we just wanted to like get some food in our belly so we can roam. That's right. All right, so first drinks are here. What'd you get? Negroni. I think it's like a gin and tonic Aperol spritz mix, I think. It seems kind of that way. <laughs> and I went with something fruity. I think it's like strawberry, peach, peach fizz. Fritzer. Spritzer. Something like that. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Refreshing. Mmm. Mine's not refreshing, but it's not like not refreshing. It's one of the weirdest flavors because it's not something I can drink all day, but I can sip on it over lunch. I can drink mine all day. All right, the main course is here. We got two pizzas. This is the Giovanni's. This is the truffle and eggs. Truffle and eggs. That's the Rachel. With some spaghetti carbonara. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> could not figure that out but your is and lasagna and that thing lasagna. is like trust me this is bigger than it looks yeah <laughs> and it's deep it's got what four yes. inches easy who knows but we are mm. going to be stuffed after this but we will be ready to tour this big mega ship that's right it's energy for the yes. tour all right we are headed out thank you thank you you can see here's the open kitchen everything is freaking delicious definitely ordered too much but um you can see look at this it's so such an open concept now it's so amazing to me it, it doesn't even feel crowded yet and i know no. it will but it doesn't yet yeah but right here's the pearl there's uh i'm i'm gonna say this wrong a few times promenade esplanade uh royal promenade is what they have it down as okay royal promenade and there's gonna be a balloon drop tonight yes like at midnight i think Look at so, all this. This is just so cool. But let's go see if we can find some new stuff. And yeah, then try to get our, get into our room, hopefully. All right, so here's the other side of Giovanni's. You got Bolero's over there. There is a Pearl Cafe on the other side of this Pearl, but we'll get there later. That uh, should be new too, right? The Pearl Cafe? Pearl Cafe is new, yep. Um, and then there's guest services down there. Like and the infamous shoot schooner? Say it's Schooner or Schooner? You should never say Schooner. <laughs> I don't think you should. Uh, schooner bar. Schooner bar schooner is right bar. here. This definitely looks like the most grown up schooner bar. It does look like a grown up schooner bar. The other thing I've seen, Josh, is that they have all specialty drinks. Like the bars each have their own specialty drinks. Yes. We are going to do our best to uh, on our sea days. So we have two sea days before we get to St. Kitts. And we're going to try to do every bar and try to do every signature bar, yeah, or every, every signature, signature drink. drink. Yeah. Um, so you're going to have to stick around for that. <laughs> this is just going to be day one, and I think it's going to be jam-packed already. I do, too. All right, so new neighborhood. Um, Adventure Ocean is over that way, but we are headed to Surfside. Very excited to check this out. Oh, look but, at all the colors. Oh, my God. Look <gasps> at this. And a flamingo. <laughs> That oh. is awesome. I gotta right. take a picture. So this is very family friendly, this area. We were supposed to have a balcony in the Surfside neighborhood, um, but we got a royal up bit. So we'll check that out later, but let's Wow, this is so cool. Yeah, let's see what we can find up here. Wow, look at the colors. This is too cute. If I was a kid, I would freaking love it. As an adult, I do too. So there's a Surfside Eatery here. I do know that there's a Sugar Beach right over there. Arcade is here. <laughs> I'm just like, wow! Yeah. Oh, and check out this guy. That is too cute. Connect Four? Oh! All right, there is a carousel. It's, it's a very cute carousel. 
Yeah, I think I'm we just were blown away. We were supposed to be towards the back. Yeah. Probably just under the, the glasses kind of area. Oh, Josh, I think on the other side of the carousel is this thing called sprinkles, which is soft serve ice cream. Oh, we do like ice cream. Check out this, though. Oh, and they're doing face painting for the little kids. Oh, yeah. This is perfect for kids. This is cool. This is definitely like an Oasis class with family in mind, but... I'm pretty sure we're going to find plenty to do as adults, too. That's what I was going to say. Like, it doesn't feel overcrowded with kids at this time. And yeah. it looks like there's so much to do. So there's sprinkles, ice cream, Surfside Bites. Uh, we got a bunch of play area for the kids. Oh, the Lemon Post. That's supposed to be a bar that offers both kid-friendly and adult beverages. Very cool. Yeah, so you can get your alcoholic drink with your non-alcoholic for your kiddo. Oh, look at the bites menu, babe. So sweet bites, they have sugar churros, confetti cookie, fruit skewer. That's pretty bite. cool that yeah. you can just have that. That I believe that's included in the fair, not even it in the dining It looks that way. I don't package. see any prices. So popcorn, chicken, hot dog, cheeseburger. So Definitely your kids kid can friendly. be out here playing and you can grab a bite to eat still. So. Yes. That is cool. Pier 7, I believe it's supposed to be brunch. Yes, served all day, like yeah, a brunch all day brunch. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that is upcharge. I believe it is. Okay. But it should be included in the dining package. Yeah. So we might end up trying to sneak here. And then here's a mega splash pad. You can see over this way there is, that's the Lemon Post bar that Rachel was talking about. Yes, babe, it does show prices on the menu, so it is an upcharge for the Pier 7. Okay. So it looks like 10 to, I guess 6 to 12 bucks for items, but you got Benedict's, pancakes, oh, grilled cheese, split. caramel waffles. I love banana splits. <laughs> There's some good looking stuff on there. All right, but here we go. So this used to be where the Aqua Show would be at. But now it's for the kids. The ship is like never ending. It is. <laughs> well, so cool. actually it's ending. We can see the end right well, now. Well, true, but I mean, it's still pretty dang cool. Yeah, look at that. So if we haven't said it already, we are sailing out of Miami and you can see all the ships are lined up and ready to go. But we are in the A spot. Yeah. Ooh, it's it bright. is bright. I gotta go <laughs> find my sunglasses if I'm gonna stay oh, here look, any it's longer. bright right there. Yeah. Super cool area, very pretty. I love, love, love the colors. Me too, it's so bright. Yeah. All right, we are headed out of here, but my goodness, this looks so cool. And look at those water slides up above us. Holy cows. There is a little slide over on the left-hand side there that you can go from one level to another. Um, arcade. We've never been too impressed with the arcades. Nah. Nah. No, we like the adult arcade, we, also known as the casino. Yeah, we'll go to the casino <laughs> later. Actually, uh, maybe we'll try it soon. Our next favorite area. You want to go to Central Park? Do we keep going up or do we go down? That's the decision. Yeah, let's go to Central Park. Okay. Because then we'll work our way towards our room. Yeah, and we can drop our backpacks off. Yeah. That's a good idea. But check out this flamingo. I am in love with the colors. That will definitely be a picture spot for it us. It will, yep. Make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see our full experience on Icon of the Seas. We will have daily vlogs showing over 20 different food venues, 30 bars, the world-class entertainment, and an insane pool deck. We also make stops in St. Kitts, St. Thomas, and even check out the brand new Hideaway Beach Club on Royal Caribbean's private island, perfect day at Coco Cay. All right, I do want to mention to everybody, so they have a new elevator system here. So if you know what elevator you're, or what floor you're going to, so you want to go to 12, you'd hit 12, and then it'll tell you which elevator you go to. So it'll give you the letter. So it's supposed to be a more efficient way to do it. Um, we've done this in hotel rooms before and it's actually really nice. Yeah, the piece that I heard though is that you do have to make sure you select the amount of people. Oh. <laughs> Which I've never heard of before. I mean, that makes sense uh, Yeah, though. we'll play with it. We do like to take the stairs because we um, intend to drink and eat. Yes. So we do take the stairs quite a bit, but we will try the elevators at least once. Yeah, but okay, we've seen some pictures about this and I already know that I, oh, I love the colors. colors. It reminds me of the Cinque Terre in Italy when we went there. But brighter. But brighter. Yeah, look at that. And those are real plants. Look at all that, babe. 
Yeah, tons of plants. Oh I'm busy God. looking up, you're looking down. Yeah. Oh, look at these walls. This place is too cool. It's Hello. so pretty. Come on board. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, you can buy your fine watches here, apparently. Uh, I'm very excited for this. Lose Jazz and Blues. That's going to be a bar we're going to definitely have to hit up and listen to some jazz. Oh. I know Izumi is here now. And they have like an Izumi in the park where you can get sushi to go. Right? Yeah. Oh, I just that's love too cute. Some of the cute. But look at that pretty flower. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Yeah, the colors really make it pop. I always liked Central Park before because it was relaxing and stuff, but now it's just even better. Oh, there's bubbles. That's the champagne bar. Okay, champagne bar right over here. Um, this should be. Park Cafe? This must be Park Cafe. Um, and you can actually see here's the uh, the pearl. That's so that's it's three stories the, tall. I was like, that's part of the and pearl. And apparently right? it has like structural integrity issues. This or, is not another, issues, but it, it helps with it. You can see down there is the, the new Pearl things. Cafe. This is supposed to be another one of the new things. Um, Where they're located throughout. and you Located can just, throughout the ship and you can see it. It's like supposed to be good views. This oh. right now is showing right to the Port of Miami. But Probably not the greatest view yet. No, not yet. But it will be. But it will be. Park okay. Cafe, isn't that the place, Josh, we really liked on Symphony, the um, yeah. breakfast? Because it was just, it was Simple. less crowded. Yep. Um, you'll find that a lot of times we like to go to the less crowded areas. So all of the balconies look like they're the infinite balconies now. <gasps> that's cool. Yeah. Oh, I do see someone up there with his window down already. Yeah. So that's the infinite balcony. So it's like the same amount of foot space, but um, they can roll up the window basically, or roll down the window to make it a balcony like this guy is. Or it's just extra open space, like I a window. I am just blown away. Trellis Bar should be in here too, yes. and that's one of our ones we really liked too. Yeah, Trellis Bar should be up ahead. I zoom in the park, I can already see. Oh, this is so, so cool. Right? So many little details that you just don't think about, but someone thought about them. Look at the divers up there. It's kind of odd that they're diving into the park. But, I don't disagree with that. Um, but there are divers. And then here's Trellis Bar, so we'll definitely hit that up tomorrow. There's Chops artwork Grill. throughout. There is just, it's just amazing. Yeah, and there's Chops Grill. Izumi. Yeah, which we do already have reservations for Chops, as well as Izumi. We're going to do the hibachi and the sushi side. And I have a feeling we'll probably grab sushi to go one of yeah, these days. Yeah, why not? Yeah. So we did sneak into Empire Supper Club. You can see it's a very small venue. Um, and it's like $200 per person plus tax and tip. So for us, it would have been two, $470. She did say do. it's two and a half hours. Yeah. So it's definitely dinner and a show, very intimate. Um, that's a beautiful setting, but gosh, that price is tough. The price is tough, but I, We're gonna I could do it see at in the some future. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be this trip. Though. No, it won't be this we trip. We already but... did the drink and the dining package, <laughs> but maybe someday. If you've been here, let us know. So one great thing you'll find, uh, there is a map on all the floors, which you can see there's at least 18 floors. I've heard 20 when you include the uh, water park water slides. That's what I've heard um, too. So it is hard to know where everything is, but every level has like great directions. So we're going to try to go down to four to see the casino and music hall and then work our way towards our room. Yeah, and I before going up top deck. Yeah, I can say like on a ship this size, you do want to see these maps because it's not always easy. You can get lost. Right, <laughs> these things are gigantic. They are. Um, you know, there's seven thousand some guests, three thousand some staff members. So to have ten thousand people on this, it's got to be large. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, we like on day one to try to start understanding where places are. Um, our bar crawl has second has two purposes. <laughs> <laughs> One, to have fun drinking, and two, to understand our ship. Yeah. Oh my, Josh. Yeah, we are sneaking into the Royal Theater. It looks like we're on the second level. This is extravagant. Yeah. 
You haven't even seen the stage, right? No, you don't have to. You just start <laughs> by walking in. Oh. oh look, you got yeah, the... Wizard of Oz is the big show that they have on here. Oh, wow. Look at these. Seats look really nice. They do look nice. This looks like a true theater. It, it is like a real theater. Yeah. Wow. Wow. This is super pretty. Let's see how far we can go down. Oh, they're practicing. I'm sure it's going to be good. I'm going to guess oh, those at... white chairs are for special guests. Okay, I was going to say, what are those chairs Fancy for? people. <laughs> Not us, probably. I love it. <laughs> this is so cool. This is so pretty. All right, we are going to Wizard of Oz. Day Night seven. Seven, we yes. We're ending on it. We're ending with Wizard but, um, we, we have to keep reminding ourselves, we're on this ship for seven nights. We don't have to do it all day one. We don't one. have to do it all on day one. So we're going to try to spread out the, the joy. All right, so we are coming downstairs. You can see there is a ton of seats here. It, it, there is a ton of seats. I mean, it is a huge ship. It is. But, wow. And all shows have multiple showings. There's no like one time, you know, see it or, or lose it kind of stuff. So. This should be awesome though. This is a great theater. This is a great theater. Wow. Yeah, so we came down. I think we're on deck four now. I believe we are too. All right, just outside the theater, we are headed into the music hall, which I don't, uh, we did not see a music hall on Symphony of the Seas. No, but we did have one on um, Quantum, Quantum and Odyssey. Yep. Oh God, this looks cool. Wow. Looks like an 80s rock show. Again, so big. Colorful. Huge venue. It's pretty. Oh, it has a dance floor and everything down yeah. there. Yeah. So, two levels. The ceilings in this upper level are pretty low. They are, but that's because it's the second level, I'm yeah. sure. And it looks like there's tons of seating down there. Huh. This is very, very cool. Very cool. All right, then we are going to head into the casino, which we actually paid full price for this. Um, we've been able to get a we lot of casino <laughs> comps before this. Yeah. But let's go ahead and see what the new casino looks like. So I have heard that there's supposed to be two sections and separated out, or two separate casinos. We can figure it out of smoking and non-smoking. We have seen that separation on many other casinos. Yeah, but they're but usually it's like very usually close to each other. <laughs> yeah, they're like right next to each yeah, other. Yeah, it's kinda. usually like one seat and then no. <laughs> so. Yeah, you can see here's all the table games: three card poker, blackjack. Um, one of the things Slot we've machines. been... Here's a casino, the casino bar. bar. Wow, that's pretty. <laughs> it is pretty. It's right in the center. There's your cashier cage. Let's go to this side. It does look like there's a couple TVs, so maybe we can watch football down here. Yeah, playoffs are tomorrow. Um, we have been they a have little... a lot of new looking games. That's what I was going to say. We were just a little concerned because we like some old games. On a new ship, will they have new games or old games or both? But yeah. I see a lot of new games right now. I do too. They even have Huff and More Puff. That's yeah, cash, oh, cash crop. crop. Yeah, lots of new games. Um, you can see here they also have craps. Roulette is down the way. More blackjack. Wow, this is big. This, this is, is very big. big. Probably the biggest casino we've seen. Be, this must be high roller, right? I would or assume this is high limit. Mm -hmm. With the whole six machines. Yeah, there's not a lot in here, so it must be pretty high limit stuff. Five dollar genom over there. Yeah, five, ten, and twenty-five. That's where Rachel's gonna be. <laughs> no. <laughs> not unless I get my two hundred points I need in one shot. Right. <laughs> God, it is. We're still going. We're still going. Um, if you ever want to know how many points you got to get to get a free cruise. Go ahead and snap that picture. And you can see the number of points you need. 2,500 is the key for us. I have been following Chris Wong's vlogs. Yeah, there's four And he is the casino host. host. One of the casino hosts. All right, I don't know if like my image froze there or the whatever, but we are still walking through this casino. This is huge. Oh, I see some Wonder Fours. Oh my God. Top dollar, you don't see top dollar very often. No, not on these. Yeah. Yeah, lots of new games. And huge. More Frickin table huge. games. This is bigger than 
Like Casino Royale for sure in Las Vegas. I was going to say, I think we've been in casinos smaller than this in Vegas. Yeah. <laughs> this is too Jackpot cool. Jackpot Carnival even? Yeah. Dang. If you're a lover of new slot games, you're going to love this. All right, we made it to the end. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. <laughs> but that sucker is nice. Oh, wow. All right, I think we're going to go find the dining room. Oh, yeah. Josh, this place <laughs> is bananas. It's this whole ship bananas. is bananas. B-A-N-A-N-A-S. All right, uh, this is the main dining room. We are apparently on the middle floor. Oh, my. Because check this out. There's a floor below us. Um, we must be in fancy table heaven. Look at these. Look at these chairs. <laughs> this is But insane. we're actually just trying to take a sneak peek. All right, three levels. Look at this chandelier. Oh, there's another big table with fancy chairs down there too. I'm blown away. And we're not even eating in the main dining room. No, we are not going to eat in the main dining room. Probably at all, unless we decide for breakfast. Maybe for breakfast. Yeah, this is beautiful. All right, so um, we were down on four, and then we decided, let's go to check out the room on 11. So let's use the elevators. And I'm already calling BS on that thing. <laughs> we stopped on every single floor. Yeah. Um, g a quick reminder that a lot of people use the elevator to go one floor at a time. And so we should just use the stairs. That's true. All right. All right, so the good news is it's two o'clock and our suitcases are right outside our door. And, and pull, let's see who's on here. Make sure Josh let me be on. <gasps> Rachel. There we go. Deluxe and diamond. All right, let's go. <laughs> yes, this is our first diamond, um, but we still did the drink package. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my god. This is exciting. Definitely our first time with an infinite balcony, which does look bigger. Does look bigger. It's yeah. so bright in here. So I was talking about the infinite balcony down in the Central Park area, and you can see like where the where the carpet changes. That would have just been a regular balcony before, but now it's like an extension of your room. I love it. Ooh. Wait till you see the bathroom. I think this. <laughs> I don't know. I can't pull that out, but it made it look like I should pull it out. Diamond, diamond. Diamond. Bum, 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 bum. We did Di choose to still, even though we're doing the deluxe beverage package, we still chose to do the water package because it never hurts to have extra water. Yeah, we, we find ourselves always need to force ourselves to drink more water, so we yeah. recommend that of everybody. But you can see all your papers are here. All of our excursion stuff is set out. I like this color scheme it's Ooh. bright but like it's very adultish oops except for that i didn't mean to i gotta put my back <laughs> down rachel just tipping stuff over you can see we got some free icon of the seas hats because it is the inaugural oh i like the the closets look good i like that there's baskets underneath that you're not just doing shelves yeah all right let's see that bathroom i think you're gonna like it uh, look at these pillows by the way I know. Okay, our last <laughs> cruise <laughs> was an interior room <laughs> on Enchantment of the Seas, which is one of the oldest and smallest ships. Oh. And that sh everything was just tiny. So that is cool. Yeah. Here's the full length mirror. Again. Yeah, the full length mirror. But then it has shelves in the safe. Now the I like safe. It. Oh. Okay. I was going to say it's not very big, but actually it is. It's not okay, bad. Okay, good. So we can maybe fit like an iPad in there. Yeah. I love that they have hooks, but Josh, All right. this is Have like, you looked at it already? I did. I snuck a peek. All right. I'm zooming out so that it helps a little bit. I like this. Yes. Doesn't that shower look much bigger? Like yeah. They actually use useful space. Well, and <laughs> the last couple of cruises have been the curtains still, mm. which, yep. you know, they stick to you. This is cool. There is a little... Oh, look at that. It just like swings in. Oh. There is a little seat that you can sit on in there. This if you're like nice. too, if you're too tired to stand in the shower, you know, I think I for ladies, ladies. It uses it to shave their legs. Yes. Yeah. But this is very nice. I'm impressed. I like it. They did a good job, Royal. Good job. Good job. Looking good. I, I could easily stay here for a week. I think we will. Yes. 
And I think we're going to go ahead and unpack, and then we're going to head up to the top deck. But check this sucker out. So here's what I was talking about. All right, I have never done this before, so. I say, I think you have to oh. hold it. Okay, so that's the shade. Oh. I'm sure if it gets too hot. Hot. So then let's try this one. But here comes our balcony. This is cool. What is not to like about this? And boom. And boom. We have a balcony. And it's bright as can be. <laughs> it's so bright out here. <laughs> Uh, but you can see we're still in Miami. But we've got our luggage. We're going to go ahead and unpack. That is our sign to ourselves that we are home for the week. Breakfast, Breakfast menu. menu. We like to use that. And we do there have is a, cooler. a little cooler fridge, basically. Um, all right, here you can see the outlet situation. That is better than it has been. Lots of USB outlets, it looks like. You can read about Icon of the Seas? Nope, just look at the artwork. Oh, it Apparently this is gonna be all the artwork that's on the ship, I would assume. I would assume so too. Yeah, you've got a phone over here. All right, we're gonna unpack and then we're gonna go up to the pool deck. All right, so we are out of our room. We actually went up one floor and you can see that actually it's staterooms pretty much from nine to 14, um, but we're gonna, I think we'll try to make it to the spa, go up and see all the stuff above us. One very nice thing in the elevator area, Rachel was just talking about it, is how you can see out. Like, this is into the Central Park area. Lots of natural light. So much natural light. Definitely more natural light than you see on a lot of the big, big ships. I think that's so far one of my favorite pieces of it. I agree. And look at this. Here's the surf side. It's just so bright. Yes, it's bright, big colors, open space. Yeah, this is a game changer. All right, we got to check this out. Yeah, lots of windows, so we'll have to get here at some point. Even just to walk through. Just to walk through, yeah. All right, so. Windjammer is closed right now, so we'll have to get there later. But let's get oh, out on the pool deck. This is Chill God. Island. Check this out. Look at that El Loco Fresh. Huge El Loco Fresh. Huge amount of colors. I need to get my shades on. Let's go do a quick little wander through over this way. Oh, that's right. They actually have a cantina bar with margaritas here. Oh, okay. So, we have to stop and get a margarita. so let's get a margarita <laughs> and then we'll start up again. Oh, look at that fun stuff. Yeah. Very kid family focused, this ship. Look at these things. And don't forget that. All right, so here's the uh, margarita list. We're going with two specialty ones. And if you've been watching us at all, you know I'm a sucker for margaritas. So yes. I'm hoping, I'm hoping we got good stuff coming out. Right? Yeah, Rachel's going with the pineapple jalapeno. I'm going with watermelon. But that sangria swirl coming up. I mean, like we should try all of them eventually. It's a good looking menu. Yeah. yeah, I do like the idea of this. Since we're up here and waiting on our drinks, I figure we might as well show you what the food looks like. So you can see some pre-made quesadillas, burritos, uh, chicken and beef burritos. You can get some fruit, some corn. There's some chips you can get. Uh, I believe there's melted cheese that you can add. Yeah, you're making your own nachos over here. Make your own tacos. Grab some water. And lots of seating. It's, this is really well done. I am impressed. And then you put your own toppings and your salsas over here. All right, so I will say, I initially thought that these were glass glasses and I was kind of um, interested because we're up on the pool deck, but these are actually plastic. They are. But they look better. So cheers. Cheers, baby. Woo 
I told you it's hot. All right, next round of drinks because those were so good. Although the jalapeno one was hot. Oh my gosh, it was warm. Woo, super hot. But this one is the Fuego Fiesta on the right. Yeah, and the handcrafted. On the left. Yeah, looks delicious. All right, so we are just walking with our drinks, which by the way, this one is amazing. Um, but look at the size of this pool over here. I like it, there's two, two hot tubs here. But you can see the band is right up where my drink is at there. And then there's multiple hot tubs on that side. Very cool. All right, so right over the wind jammer on the back. I think it's on the back, right? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Thrill Island. Check this out. Largest water park at sea, I believe. Yes, and if any of you have ever been to Coco Cay, they did mimic some of the same pieces from Coco Cay yeah. into this ship. There's like a dropout, like floor dropout, water slide. There's a family one. I just saw it go by. Yeah, did you see? <laughs> yeah. The family raft one. Uh, there's two where you can race. Yep. This I is... think there's six of them here on this boat. Yeah. Six water slides. This is awesome. There you go. And there's a floor rider. Uh, Lost Dunes, I believe, is the... Golf course. Golf course. Base camp, I think, has food. Sports court is going to be basketball. Um, you would think there's probably the wall oh, climbing, too. Oh, is the milkshake bar. Oh, God. There's... This ship is so cool. All right, so as we come around to the front here, um, you can see more of the water slides. And there's the one that the floor drops out on you. And I think that's what makes it 20 decks is... Oh, up here. that you have to go up there. That's yeah. deck 20. Um, over there you can see is the putt-putt. Base camp has some snacks. And then the basketball court up there. You can even see the wall climb right behind it. Remember earlier how you had mentioned the infinite balconies oh. on Surfside? I think there's regular balconies too by looking at it. Well, this is... This yeah. is what we were supposed to be I had noticed regular balconies on uh, Central Park. Oh, okay. But they have regu regular balconies here on Surfside, it looks oh, like. Oh, okay. Yeah, we were supposed to be somewhere in that region. Um, but I'm kind of, I'm glad that we're not, because I do like to be able to use the space. Um, but we'll talk about some pros and cons that we've noticed from the room when we get back to it. Um, I do believe where you can see all those tables, that's the windjammer. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a monster windjammer. Holy cow. And they, they have a lot more light. That, that is definitely one of the best things I'm seeing about this ship. There is a lot more light everywhere. Yeah. All right, here on the back, you can see they got the flow rider going. And check this out. So there's no solarium, but this is the 18 plus area, which went from being boring, quiet solarium to being like adult party pool is what it looks like, With right? An infinite pool that overlooks the after the ship. How cool. How cool. cool. Yeah, We're going to have to spend some time down I, here. I was thinking earlier, like, I want to get up super early one day just so I can come and I'll lay on one of these chairs so we can have a, a view of the aft on a sea day. But check that out. I want to say the day beds are three or $400 each, uh, depending on whether it's a port day or a sea day. Wow. All right, so in this adult hideaway area, you can see there's a DJ right here. You got the pool, there is a bar. I believe there's some food over there. I want to say there is too, but I don't remember what. Right, this is a happening spot. I, I feel like this is going to continue to be a happening spot. This is a happening ship, Josh. Yes, <laughs> this ship is crazy. It's super high energy for sure. Here's another one of those. Oh yeah, you can like scope out something. But over here, you'll see where it turns into the hideaway. And you gotta be 18 plus to do. This is awesome. Yeah, couple signs. There's the two hot tubs. I know we don't look 18, but we are. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just barely. Just barely. Definitely not the super relaxing that you're, you might be thinking. Yeah, it's not the solarium relaxing, which I do like the solarium for that, but this is no. pretty dang cool. But there's a lot of seating. I, I like this. I do too. Oh you man, wanna... that place is party over there. Oh, sorry. Check 
challenge you to a game. Yeah, I'll lose. <laughs> Probably. All right, an upcharge thing. Uh, you can see this guy tethered up. Like 90 to $100 yeah, upcharge. 90 to 100 bucks for about a minute worth of climbing out on the logo. I bet it's a heck of a rush, but man, that price tag, we could not bring ourselves to do it. All right, another awesome feature that we've never seen before, a swim up bar on the pool deck. This is too cool by far. We're going to definitely make our way here one of these days. Yeah. So we are up here on cloud 17. And I got to say, this might be one of the coolest pools. One of the things I'm liking is that there's not just one central pool area. There's right. many areas. Like there's this pool, there's many hot tubs. And the Lots of hot hideaway tubs. area. Like I just think there's so many more options than we've seen on other cruises. Yeah, it's this is definitely a game changer for the Royal Caribbean fleet. It really um, is. We are going to do Utopia of the Seas later this year. And so it'll be interesting to see how the newest U Oasis class ship compares to this. Yeah, because we have not done Wonder yet. So we have like, not. We're trying to figure that out, but wow, I'm yeah, just this, blown away. Yeah, this is even compared to like Symphony of the Seas, this is a big game this changer. This is a game changer. All right, we are back in our room. Glasses are on, contacts are out. Sun is starting to go down. I don't know, clouds are coming in. We're gonna try to get to some fireworks later, yeah. but wanted to do a quick little touch base. That's right, what do you think? Crazy, awesome, amazing. <laughs> I'm shocked that like, so I've been on Oasis and Symphony and this is a game changer. It is a game changer. I told Josh earlier as we were walking around, I loved, loved, loved our Europe cruises. We had so much fun and those ports were intensive but we needed this. Yes. Like, this is a true resort at sea. Yes, like, we it's were thinking that so crazy. when we were back at the hideaway, mm -hmm. you were, you're seeing this gigantic water park, you're seeing adults club, you're seeing, like, food, <sighs> bars, everywhere you turn. Everywhere. It, and I, I'm just blown away. I'm just blown away. I, our, uh, Icon is a whole new level. Yeah. Royal Caribbean Good job, did Royal. themselves on this. Um, yeah. As far as room goes, we do really like it. Uh, we have put away our stuff. The one thing that we are nitpicky about. And it's, nitpicky. I mean, it's truly nitpicky. Where do you put your shoes? Yeah, there's like not a spot. It's weird. It's yeah. just weird. Which and if you're for, going somewhere for a week, you're yeah. generally not bringing one pair of shoes. I was gonna say, and that may be us. We each bring about maybe four to six pairs of shoes. Yeah, but how many pairs of shoes do you bring on a cruise? That's a good question. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know in comments down below. So I have some hidden over here, over here by the bed. Mine are all lined up by my side of the bed, but it's it just doesn't feel like that's where it should be. Right. Because they did so good at making sure you had spots for everything else. They have baskets instead of shelves. You have so many shelves in the many, bathroom. Many small random shelves, but yeah. like the bathroom, I didn't even it's notice easy. it initially. There is a nice little nook of shelves. Yeah, they have totally utilized the space in just in a, in a new way that you haven't seen on any other ship, or at least we haven't. Yeah. So, wow, but where the hell am I supposed to put my shoes? <laughs> right. Now, so. plans for tonight, we are going to Hooked, we are going to the ice show, we are going to gamble, we, we are, are going to the party. We are going to the fireworks, we're going to the balloon drop. It's freaking crazy. So much there to come. There is stuff until like 2 a.m. Yeah. We are going to be needing some rest when we get home. Stick around. All right, so I know not everybody enjoys working out when you're on vacation, but we try our best to because if you're eating too much and drinking too much for too long, you have to. You just you have definitely to. have to. So let's check out this fitness center. Here is a spin room. We're not into that kind of stuff, but you might be. Wow. Let's talk about some cardio. It's a big gym. It is a big gym. Looks like both sides have cardio on the outsides and weights Whoa. in the center. This is huge. Right? Very cool. It's 
It's got about everything you could ever ask for. Josh, the running track is truly right outside those doors. We should walk Ooh, that way too. The running track? Yeah. Yeah, so it looks like it kind of mirrors, right? It, it does look like it mirrors. It is huge. I have not seen a gym this big on a no. ship yet. No, let's, okay, we're gonna go outside and check out this running track. Because we would like to run outside if possible. <laughs> All right, so we found it. Let's see if we can find measurements. I also like that right outside of the gym and before you get to the running track is a place to refill water bottles. Nice. Yeah. So we have done this on an Oasis class and it was, was actually symphony. great. It was great because it's not yeah. like up on the pool deck where it ends up being. Right. Super crowded, crowded with random walkers. Like, yep. look at this. Like, you can't imagine. even see to the end. All right. After about a mile of walking, it feels like <laughs> we did find the map. So you can see on the jogging track, 2.4 laps equals one mile. Did you see here the fitness center takes up the whole front of the... I believe road? it. That yeah. thing was huge. It was. It was so pretty. Now, looking. I kind of want to see if it goes all the way to the back where you can have oh. some cool views. Okay. Um, like on Symphony and Oasis class you do. But um, there you go. 2.4 laps equals one mile. All right. And the good news, at the back of the... Running, walking track, you do have a good view. Oh, I love it. I do too. What a cool, cool ship so far. Yeah. But we are going to be taking off shortly here. But we have a busy night planned. I kind of want this sweatshirt. That is a cool sweatshirt. Yeah. Well, if you want to buy some fancy bling bling for Icon, they got that for you. I heard there's $100,000. Oh, yeah. Beer glasses. That's kind of cool. I heard there's a $100,000 goblet you can Chalice? buy on this. Yeah. And you are get you, a drink package for life. Are you getting it for me for Christmas? You'll just have to wait till Christmas to find <laughs> out. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen, guys. Yeah, maybe not. But we are here at Playmakers. We are going to try to see what they got for beer. Oh, they have ski ball. Yeah. And basketball. I'm going to have to play some games. So, we came we, here yeah. with high hopes. We are looking for a Funky Buddha Floridian, Floridian. Uh, which we haven't had for years now, it feels like. No, and it said it on their menu that it was going to be available. Yep. So instead, we're going with a Tiger Beer and Pineapple Guava Sangria. But look over there. They it's have actually on tap. On tap. <laughs> yeah. That's what I like. <laughs> it is my favorite cocktail. I mean, before today and hitting those margaritas, this has been my favorite oh, cocktail. Yeah. But those margaritas up on El Loco Fresh are delicious. I think they're good. All right, we definitely have more spots that we have not seen yet, but here is the new Boleros. Yeah, they, it, look, it appears that they kept many of the traditional, royal, yeah. iconic things. But on, they just opened them up. And they updated them. Yeah. Oh, babe, there's Point and Feather. Oh. Maybe they have the beer. There's an escalator. An escalator on a ship to get you from floor to floor. That's insane. What do we need that escalator for? I What's don't know. What's it get us to? Don't know that answer. All right. Should we go check out Point Feather? We probably should. Okay. All right. We have always enjoyed the uh, the pub. This one Hello. is wide open looking. I like Good. it. Good. How are you? So a lot of the uh, English pubs really seem dark. This one seems a lot brighter and much more open. I actually really like this style. Um, and it does say that there's darts. I'm, I'm not seeing darts though. Oh, actually it looks like there's one dartboard in the back. All right, here at the other end we got Sorrento's. A Spotlight karaoke and dueling pianos up at the top. I cannot wait for dueling pianos. Me too. I'm I think so that's excited. gonna be a blast. Alright, over here at the end we got the attic, which is adult comedy going on. Alright, we are gonna see the show later this week, but And the, this is new to Icon. Yeah, this is new. Aquadome uh, with a show called Aqua Action. I cannot wait to see this. I love the blue tint. Yes. I think that's so pretty. It seems really cool. Oh, so baby, this I've, used to be on the aft. I bet you the uh, chalice is in oh, there. Oh yes, the chalice is definitely in here. So your $100,000 drink package for life. There it is. Comes with this. 
ridiculous pimp cup. That's ridiculous. All right. What would you spend for a drink package for life? Yeah, we said 20000 Oh, I was like, you're giving them way too much credit to go fast. You said it. <laughs> um, if oh. you said 20000 I'd probably easily do 25 to 30 And then we got Aquado Market, which is also new. It's like a food court. But before that, check this out. So this used to be on the back of the ship. And now it, they brought it inside, which I had heard before they had to cancel shows sometimes because of weather. Weather. So this should actually keep the shows going. All right, and another new feature to Icon specifically is the Akuro Market. Now this is similar to a food hall. There's about four different places that are included in here. I remember a crepe place, macaroni Mac and, and cheese. cheese place. Mediterranean Toast and Garden. Yeah. So and Asian. Oh, there's five different places. So we will be trying this place yes. out as well. But we don't have time right now. We gotta go see some fireworks. I know it's not dark yet, but I don't care. Fireworks before as you're leaving, that's freaking cool. Right, and we are moving right now. Yeah, we are definitely moving. I, w I wish that it could be darker, but I know we gotta get going. I say we are on an inaugural sailing. This is a pretty cool experience. Yeah, first time for fireworks on a cruise ship for us. Oh. All right, we are gonna try to grab a small bite to eat because our dinner is after our show. Yeah. So let's head into Akadol Market. All right, Rachel is choosing a crepe that appears. I am. I kind of want dessert first and they have four different ones here. I'm going with the classic, lemon zested and dusted sugar. All right, simple. Yeah, simple but delicious. I mean, there are like many options. I, I like how you're doing lemon. One. Oh yeah. <laughs> I am going with the mac and cheese and I'm doing a chili mac, yep. So you've got classic bacon mac, chili mac, broccoli mac, and pepperoni pizza mac. All right, so dinner is like two hours away and we got a show. <laughs> I was like, what did you get though? You got like a whole bowl full of stuff. So I did a bowl. <laughs> it, there's rice at the bottom. There's some chicken teriyaki. There is, I can't remember the kind of, ginger pork, spring roll, fried shrimp. And what'd you get? I went with a pita with shaved pork, um, tzatziki, cucumbers, onion, feta, tomato, and that might be it. I don't know. It's yes. huge. Okay, so Aquadome Market. For the win. Lots of good stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Come up here. All right, for show the cruise is going to be the Absolute Zero Ice Show. Excited. Hello. Thank you. All right, check this place out. We are getting here early because we want front row seats if possible. Hoping that there's a bar Hi, how are you? Waiter. We just got done with the aqua show. Nope. No, there was not. It was ice the ice show. skating show. Stabbers, yeah. elements, something like that. It was interesting. It had like a science underlying theme. Yeah, it was very cool. Again, I'm so shocked that they can do that on ice in a moving ship. Now, you say that. I haven't felt the ship move once. Me either. Like, I have no idea it's moving. I know we were moving because I saw us moving during yes. the fireworks. Otherwise, but you do yeah, not I feel, feel a that. thing. Pearl Cafe. Yeah, we're gonna wander by the Pearl Cafe. Cool. Some cool art above us. There is. And we gotta get to dinner we in have like three minutes. Five minutes. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's see you there. Alright. Dinner at Hooks. We gotta go through the Aqua Theater to get here. Alright, so we are both starting off with the St. Peter's Spritzer. Yeah, it's their signature cocktail. Yes, and it looks good. It does. I'm guessing it's like an Aperol Spritz. It looks kind of that way. Yeah. And you can see, oh my God. The, That's so loud. It is so loud outside of here. Uh, but there you can see, it is a very seafood forward menu. It is. 
Okay, so this is where when you ask your waiter what his favorite is, that it comes into play and you have the deluxe dining package. He suggested the crab cake, but still brought out the shrimp cocktail. Yeah, I was asking, which one should I get? <laughs> so he got us a half order of shrimp, got the crab cake. What do we got over here? It looks like, um, I think they're like biscuits, the Parmesan cheese biscuits. I just call biscuits, them like red lobster biscuits. Red lobster biscuits, and then some fresh oysters. Yes. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. This is the captain's platter. Yeah, I think I got that when we got it the la when we were at home the last time. But it they have bronzino, lobster, it may be true. and shrimp. I'm going to do some lemon here. So, yeah, bronzino, shrimp, lobster. Some I got mac and lobster cheese. mac and cheese, corn, on the, corn cob. on the cob. And I got the coconut shrimp with some french fries. I just love me some coconut shrimp. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Going simple, but I'm, I'm making up for the simple over there. That's true. All right, so we had talked about going and getting milkshakes, but apparently the milkshake place is closed, so Rachel got... The brownie with vanilla ice cream. It and does not some, look like there's nuts in it. Let's hope not. Then Caramel. some fancy stuff on top. Looks like brownie bites, basically. Yeah. And then I got a lemon tart. Day one. We are not done yet. We are not. But uh, we're dropping off our microphones. We are just headed down. We're going to go to the casino. We're hoping to get to the balloon drop. Yes. Um, if we can stay still, up that late. Yeah. We're yeah. going to bring you with for that. But this is a semi wrap up. I would say so because it has been a busy, busy day. Yeah. I hope you can understand like how big this freaking ship is. It's... It's we haven't insane. even touched the surface, it feels like. No. We've, or just the surface. I would say we've touched just the surface because I think we've seen every area we've wanted to. There's a few pieces we haven't seen, but we know we're going to hit. But I will tell you, this ship is freaking awesome. Yeah. You're going to want to come along for the rest of this. Yeah. There's some amazing shows supposed to be coming up. We actually have some very fun ports and what did you think about the ice show tonight we already went to the ice, ice show, show was great yeah i really cool. i enjoy shows mm -hmm. um i enjoy the ice shows actually my very first one i didn't like i skipped one and then i've never missed, missed out on since. another and i try to be front row if i can yeah i love it yeah we um hooked it was good. shocked me yeah it was really good didn't it it was much better than what i remember mm -hmm. which we've only had it once before um i enjoyed pretty much everything i agree yeah all right Favorite, we're gonna bite. Favorite bite of the day? Favorite bite of the day, the lasagna. Oh, frick, that stuff was so good. Giovanni's it was so lasagna. cheesy, it was so good. Mm. It, I agree with that. I'm gonna yeah. have to go with that same bite. Yes, mm -hmm. I easy. All right, favorite moment of the day? Stepping on this ship. Damn right. It's been a year. We've been planning this for a year plus, yeah, and we, I was so excited. We booked this sucker mm -hmm. at like 5.30 a.m. the day that it came Opened out. Opened up. Mm -hmm. um, Love it. I do. Very yeah. excited for the rest of the week. I can't wait. Yeah. Um, now, what's going to make it better is we're going to go hit a jackpot. We hope so. And well, we're going to bring you along for it. <laughs> we need to hit Prime. At least this girl needs That's to That's going to happen tonight. Yeah. So we're going to hit Prime, or try to hit Prime tonight. We're going to try to hit the Balloons. Welcome Balloon Drop. Um... And that's it. I think that's all, but the welcome balloon drop and welcome party is until midnight. Well, we're going to have to do well gambling to stay up that long. Mm -hmm. But tomorrow, we are going to see more of this ship because our goal is to do is to drink at all the bars, which we have at minimum 25, upwards of 30 bars. Yeah, because we're trying to decide. We're trying if, to figure that yeah, out. Yeah, we're trying to figure those pieces out because Hooked has a bar inside of it, which we just found out tonight. We did right. not have it well, on Well, Lime and Coconut has three different bars. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's we're going to do all 25, 30, whatever in the next two days. <laughs> and so our next video is going to be taking you across this entire ship, showing you all the bars and all the, what do you call them? 
um, fancy drinks. Oh, their specialty cocktails at each restaurant or at each bar, which has been pretty cool to see because most of the time you can get relatively the same drinks at every single yeah. bar. But this time it truly has specialty ones, and that's where it caught my eye at Hook tonight for dinner. Yeah. Is that they had a specialty drink itself. Mm -hmm. So if you see something after this, that's going to be us winning at gambling and us partying at the welcome, welcome party. party. But next, you'll see us tomorrow. Oh, by the way, I'm a fangirl, and I've already seen. I haven't talked to him yet. <laughs> ben and David, they're on the ship. Yeah, if you want to, if you I'm follow so cruise vloggers and you want to meet some of those people. Go to an inaugural cruise, especially yeah. for Royal Caribbean. Holy crap, there's vloggers everywhere. Yeah, we have like two people we haven't seen yet, and we're going to start making contact after that. So, yeah. All right, on that exciting. note, I'm done vlogging for the day. Me too. So, if you're enjoying this video you, and you want to see more, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe. You can also follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and X, formerly Twitter. All our links are down below. All right, jackpot time.